Well, Michelle, AEA 2009, and we're here for goodies. We got new toys, and let's face it, when it comes to new toys, Trilogy looks like it's got something to say. Can you tell us about the Trilogy? Uh, sure, Jim. Thank you. The reason we're so excited about Trilogy is it makes the all-glass cockpit possible for the very first time for Part 23 aircraft. So Trilogy here displays um, attitude, altitude, airspeed with optional heading all in one unit. So, you know, you think about your glass cockpits today, and they're backed up by old technology that's been around for decades. Well, now glass can be backed up by glass. So it makes the transition a lot easier for the pilot in an emergency. If the PFD were to fail, then they have glass that looks much more familiar to them, and it enhances safety by having that transition being easier for them. And our products are all about enhancing safety, so uh, we're very excited to be showing it here. Of course, the two advantages are, of course, one, all solid state, meaning no major moving parts and things to fail and go bang in the night, so to speak. And the other issue, as I understand, is you're talking about battery backup down the line. Yes, yes, absolutely. Down the line, we will have that option as well. What kind of market are you looking to place this unit in? Basically, Part 23 aircraft. So anyone who has a, a Part 23 glass aircraft now, uh, they could have this backup. We are taking orders now, and um, it will be coming up to be available in July. And so that, um, that is our market. Do we have an idea of price and installation costs? Um, the price I can give you, that's $16,570. And installation will be, you need to talk with the different dealers for that, for the installation price. But for those of us, for instance, flying the SR-22, we've got the old uh, electric uh, artificial horizon in there, but lo lots of moving parts. Now we've got a way to go all electric. Absolutely, and I mean, it'll, besides looking great in your cockpit, it'll just really enhance safety if you think about it, if you ever are in an emergency situation. Um, just having an all-glass cockpit for the first time is, is something wonderful that we can introduce. Sunny or cloudy, rainy or bright, day or night, the future of flying is now clearly in sight. Garmin SVT, synthetic vision technology. How did this how did this unit come come about? How what was the development cycle like? Well, you know, we've actually been in the standby business for more than 45 years. So we've been working on standbys for a long time. Now, our GH series of solid state products is very popular with the high end aircraft and that has been very successful for years as well. So we took all of that expertise and technology and wrapped it into this package and made it applicable to the Part 23 aircraft market. How is this going to work as far as the installation goes in the new aircraft? Well, for the installation, of course, it'll be dependent on each panel and each aircraft, but um, it'll be a, a pretty easy installation. It's a standard 3 ATI fitting that it has, even though the display is, you know, 4 by 3, it has a standard fitting. So that's another reason we're excited about uh, being able to plug it into a lot of panels. This particular device, is, uh, from what I could see, you can set it for a number of different uh, screen lighting scenarios so for those of us operating in the dark <laughs> more times than we care to admit and so forth it's going to be fairly easy to adjust yes it's, it's actually very easy to adjust um, you can adjust brightness up or down right here and uh, one thing that uh, we learned with our GH product is the importance of being able to have this clarity bright sun or different degrees of um, lighting in the cockpit and so the trilogy does that as well do we have any OEMs in mind for this at this point? Well, sure. We're talking to a lot of OEMs. <laughs> of course, no announcements at this point, but um, also for the aftermarket. So this is a product that will be applicable to both OEMs and aftermarket um, now. So we're taking orders now, basically. Okay, so primarily designed for the GA market. Uh, might we see this in uh, anything else, Part 25 even? Well, you know, our GH is so popular uh, with that market, and that has different features and, of course, a different price point. Gotcha. So I'm really targeting Part 23 right now for this unit. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. 
Michelle, the uh, speed tape, obviously you're going to want to adjust that to the parameters involved for a specific aircraft. How difficult is it to uh, adjust that to the airplane that you're flying? Well, that's something that the avionics technician would do, and it's actually very easy. You don't have to send it to us or anything like that. The avionics, there was a maintenance mode, and the avionics technician um, can get in there and make that adjustment. Obviously, you folks keep coming up with a, a number of things down the lines. You've done so much with display technologies, but what might we be seeing from you next? Well, stay tuned is, is what I can say. Um, you know, of course, we're always thinking about new products and enhancements um, to other products. This one we're excited about because we had, you know, the expertise in technology, and we're able to make it available to the Part 23 aircraft market. And you know, we're all about making flying easier and enhancing safety. So we have all those things in our mind as we're looking looking ahead. And available when was that? In July, and we're taking and we're taking orders now. Outstanding. Thank you so much. Okay.